circle. I respect that. I can respect a man when he says I don't like niggas. I can respect that. Right. I know now I know where he stands, and I, and now I know where I'm supposed to stand with this decent. You understand? I'm not gonna be walking around all now even shit. Fuck all that. You understand? Because we're dealing with the real world. We're dealing with the reality of the matter. When you're working with these Edomites, okay, you can see that they got some tension against you. Right. But yet these same Edomites still they'll act as though they're cool with you, shake your hand, pat you on the back. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the reality. We not we not dealing with this this uh BBC News Network bullshit. Okay, or whatever television bullshit they put out there. We dealing with the real world, man. That's what the prophets are dealing with. Go on, brother. So it says verse eleven. Their inward thought is mm -hmm. that their houses shall continue forever. Right, and their inward thought is, is that their house will continue forever. Now the word, that's where you get the word um, economy from. Okay, the word economy means house. So they think that this society is going to go on for the next 200 years. That's why they always make mention on the news. Oh, they're going to do this until 2050, 2070. How do you know you're going to go on for another five years? How do you know you're going to uh, live for another, for another uh, millisecond. How do you know that? You understand? So this is a, a society that's of pride, man. And a society that's of pride that becomes the big, 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 winds up getting destroyed, man. You understand? And I mean, and this is the thing, man, and I've been thinking about this, and I'm gonna do a sit down about this, man. Every brother should be inquiring of the kingdom. Every brother in this faith should be inquiring the ending of this world right here. You know why I say that? Because there's no righteousness in it. There's no righteousness in it. Everybody's, every, everything's tainted, and everybody's all messed up in the head. Okay, that's just the facts. All right, and it's so bad now. You got, you just gotta be by yourself. Cause these motherfuckers right. are crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Then they're insane. They even think that you're crazy for being insane, while they think it's okay to be insane. That's how bad these people are, man. That's the world we live in today. Some deep shit there, bro. We are the Spurs. We are the Spurs. See, the spirit just, the, the spirit revealed it. That's how you know that there's got to be a higher power. Right. Because you got these jokers, they're ruling the planet and destroying it down to smooth creeps, man. Right. Go on. It says, shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Right, and their dwelling places to all generations. They think they're going to rule the world for another hundred years or another thousand years. They call their lands after their own right. names. Like Africa, for example. You got a lot of our people calling this name Africa and don't even know where the name comes from. They don't even know what the name means. The word Africa goes back to a uh, you can walk past it. I'm a have a nice day, man. Yeah, have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day, man. We're not yeah, dealing yeah, with yeah. this rubbish, man. Move okay? on, move on, just, just have move a nice day. You can have a nice day, sir. Carry on, carry on now. Yeah, so what I was saying. Yeah. What I was saying, I mean, because I mean we had the end, brother, so the the, 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 the yeah, news is gonna come. Yeah, yeah. So what I was saying was is, is pretty much, and this is what further solidifies the point of what I'm saying. This is in Great Britain the supposed to be the first war. You can wait, you can wait, you can wait. You can wait. I'm gonna do I'm dealing with a point. I just came up here about a couple So what I was saying is if you, if you can't wait, you can have a nice day. Alright? So like, like I was saying before, like I was saying before, yeah, to hell with these guys, man. They're just peons. They're just peons. So like I was saying before, going we'll back to the point, see? Oh, shit, I lost my point, man. We, we can go back to the scripture. They're saying that, um, they, they call yeah. their lands after their own names. Right, they call their, right, we're going to get back on point. They call their, they call their, um, the lands after their own names. Like, I was going back to the name Africa. The name Africa goes back to the, uh, what is it, the Roman general, Neo Scipio's Africanus. Yeah. So when you're calling yourself African, what are you calling yourself? After a Roman name. Okay? So we got to get the facts straight. We, got, we can't just utter, utter, utter our madness and don't know what we're talking about. We gotta know exactly what we're talking about. You feel what I'm saying? Like you got these Edomites, they're calling themselves Caucasians, don't understand, no, with no understanding. When it, it actually means uh, Caucasus brother. Okay, brother. That's what it means. What we call ourselves is the Israelites, because that's what we are. We're not calling ourselves that just to call ourselves that. Like this is some makeup to you. Okay, we're, we are the actual people that Moses spoke to around the, um, the, the Suez River. They call it the Red Sea today. We are the, the so-called blacks in America, all the way down to the, um, the uh, what is it, the Hispanic tribes and the Native American Indians. We're the Israelites. How do we prove that? Because we've done our research. 
Okay, we we'll learned, man, we learned from our, our pastors and elders, and they taught us to look. And we, did, and we added our little research to the, to the program. Okay, so go on, brother. So it said, it said, they call their lands after their own names. Yeah. Nevertheless, man, being in honor, abideth not. Right, so. He is like the beasts that perish. Right, so we're going to go back to the point. So when you ain't got no understanding of the scriptures, you're really just a beast. You just do what you want to do. You formulate new doctrines, new belief systems that does not correlate with righteousness. The true order. Sorry. You understand? So, you know, you got one guy coming out like this other beast that he came to the camp. And he was like, well, how do we know if the Bible is true? And you know what I figured as well, right? I just thought about this. See, a lot of atheists, they know that the Bible is true. Okay? And that's why they choose not to believe in the Bible, but they'll be the first ones to come up here and want to deal with us. I wonder why that is, because they know deep down in the back of their fucking store that this world is going to come to pass. They know that the Lord is a black man. They don't do the research. The so-called black man. Because they done did the research, right? And they found out that the Bible is not quarreling with them. Right. It's against them. So their thing is, is well, you know what? We're going to do away with the Bible altogether. Because it hurts them to know that the Bible or the, the, the things concerning the Bible doesn't, doesn't correlate with them. It hurts. So they got to do away with that shit, right? Yeah. So they're saying, look, I don't, I, I'm an atheist. I don't believe. <laughs> so their thing is, is that because they don't believe, they believe that because they don't believe the prophecies or the judgments don't come on the asses. It don't matter if you believe or you don't believe. When the Lord brings judgment on your ass, you're going to know that judgment was wrought upon your ass. You understand? But regardless whether you believe or not, it don't make a difference. All right? Oh, you got, brother. Give me Romans 3 and 3. I'll tell you what. You can hold that. Give me Romans 3 and 3. It don't matter if you don't believe, man. We're reading the word of reality. That's the difference between the Quran and these other philosophies and these bullshit-ass, uh, you know, hey, philosophies, man. Can I, can I just say about Volker Malone, yeah? That's right. the scoffer, the well-known scoffer. Now the evidence coming out that he's a, um, a paid agent, right? And he's a, um, 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 he's um, a paid agent, of course. Yeah, he's coming out though, evidence, you know, and Amalek and all the money that they've been hoarding over the can't, over the time, all the work they've been doing. Can't. So he looks like Amalek, right? you know, sure. and it, he's resorted to parrot. Par what they call it parity parity videos. Parody, yeah. Parody videos. Yeah, yeah, he's a joker, because man. Because all, all, all the clowns, debates man. that they, they, they kept losing, they just kept losing. Now they, right. they're going out of their mind, you know? Right, yeah, they're losing their mind, man. Right. Because see, that's just the thing. If you ain't got this Bible, if you ain't got the understanding, you will lose your mind. That's why you have a lot of people in Britain that have lost their mind and elsewhere. You understand? Because they're not dealing with the truth. See, this Bible keeps everything in perspective. Right. Because see, check this out, right? If Islam was the truth, how come these Muslims are partying with these English people? And they're supposed to be against the English people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, you, that's how you know that the Quran ain't the book, man. This is the book that puts everything in order. You understand? That's what we're dealing with, man. Whatever is said in this book, that's the one and only. That's it. The Lord ain't write 200 books, the most high power, and write 400 books. This is the book that we want. You understand? All right, oh, get yeah, that. Read the note, verse 13. This their way is their folly. Right. Yet their posterity approve their saying. Right. Well, read that verse again. Read that again. This their way is their folly. Right. This their way is their folly. Go on. Yet their posterity approve their saying. Right. And the posterity approve their saints. I think the word posterity means uh, right? That posterity means like your 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 nobleness. Oh, like, so you'll prove your sins. Right. Because yeah, even though Esau, he's, he's a hypocrite, he chats me a shit deception. Because he has that posterity, people side with him. Yeah, people still side talking with shit. Even though he's talking shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And his folly is his way. You know what I'm saying? That's his way. That's how he does it. Right. It's a man of folly. Okay, well, I was corrected there. But see, yeah, I mean, hey, that's how it is, man. Because see, hey, the shit is even says that when the, when the rich man speaker. Yeah, Every, yeah. Everybody here, but when the poor man speaks, no one, no one will bother him. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And the poor man might have every, the poor man might have all of the, all of the info on how to conduct oneself. Yeah. But because he's in power and he's rich, everybody want to take heed, and he could be talking shit. And that's why people are fucked today, because they've been hoodwinked and they've been pretty much bamboozled, man. That's the deal. I got, I got it from that one dude, bamboozled and shit. You know, so that's how it is, man. And it's going to get to the point where these regular everyday John and Jane crackers, they're going to rise up against their own government one day. Because they're going to find out, which they're already finding out already, that their own government has fucked them over. 
their own actual people is fucking over. That's what they're gonna find out, man. All right? It's right around the corner. Go on, brother. So it says, Yet their posterity approved their sayings, like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Right, like sheep, they are laid to the grave, because ultimately, the powers that be, they're gonna be put into the graves, man. Right. Their foundation in this society and their central banking orders are gonna be put out, man. Okay, the whole ideology and the whole thought of what they call so-called white supremacy, that won't exist anymore, man. It's gonna it's going go out. Once this war breaks out, once it's a lot here, once they collapse the system and they mandate the art by the microchip, that's this society's do. Okay, once this comes to pass, this society's do. There's no coming back no more, man. You understand? So, hey man, if, if I was an eater, I would just enjoy myself and act as stupid as, as hell, like they're doing already. <laughs> like you said that earlier, isn't it? It is what it is. What's going to happen is, this, man, like I said, when the party's over, the party's going to be over, baby. And they're going to get an ass whooping for a thousand years straight. And they're going to soon know about what they did wrong. And they're going to understand that wickedness wasn't the way to go. That's <laughs> right. So it says, like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Right. Death shall feed on them. Right. Death shall feed on them. That's why I told you in Isaiah 14, it says, uh, hell is new to meet the thy coming. You understand? So all of these devils out here, especially dealing with the um the top banking families of the world, they're gonna suffer the most. Because they did they roll all of the most of the hell on this planet. Yeah. Most they done the most wickedness and then it's going to level down to the average Edomite. What I mean by the Edomite, I'm talking about the, the average so-called European that's walking around thinking that they're innocent, playing now, now playing the victim now. Right. After they, after they done victimized other people for centuries, now all of a sudden they want to play the victim card and they want the world to feel sorry for them. It's like my mother, right? Because my mother, she's been all over the place, man. She done found out that what's going on around the world, a lot of these darker nations, they're starting to rise up against these devils now. They, they're giving them a hard time and hassling them. And, and they was even saying to my brother, uh, my blood brother, he was even saying that there's a list of places where these crackers can't even go to. Man. And, there's a, and there's a lot of countries that they can't go to because they're being hassled now. Because my mother, she went to China, right? And you know what? She saw some, uh, she saw some either my girls mothering some clothes. And you know they had those girls standing there for hours? Just standing up, just standing there looking stupid. And they had to go, they had to sit down because the legs were hurt. So what's happening is, is the world is rising up against these Edomites, man. Yeah. They be that, you know, I'm over dying now. You know what I want. What is it? It's just the bird brain niggas that ain't. Yeah, that's what it is, man. But Jake, but even, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna even go as far as saying this. Jake is kind of getting there to stop. Jake is kind of getting there to wake up, though. I'm, I'm, yeah. real. Jake is starting to realize that these devils ain't worth a damn, man. And they don't like it. And you know, and I'm so glad that Theresa May um, disrespected the, um, the West Indian people that came through at the wind rush. Because now Jake understand, now Jake understand that these devils don't like you. You understand? They don't like you, man. They may shake your hand, they may smile at you or whatever. But don't get misconstrued, man. They got to play like that. They just, they, because that's in their DNA. They're very deceptive. They have to be that way. They were made to be the serpent. Okay, if they want their way, they're gonna manipulate to get their way. And they're gonna receive your eyes if you got something they want. That's how, the, that's how it is, man. And really, you can't get mad at these Edomites because they're doing what they're supposed to do. The snake does what a snake has to do. Every animal has a purpose. So you really can't get mad at them, but I'm just saying, the point of the matter is, is they're gonna be made an example out of it in, in due time. So keep it up. Obadiah 1, verse 1, the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor right, from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her right. in battle. Right, that's what the other nations are saying. They're saying, look, arise up against her in battle. That's why this war war is coming back. You understand? And I mean, the war is showing you You got these guys out here, they're grown men, grown ass men, and they're just acting like animals, man. There's no morals here. You understand? Because back in the 30s, Edomites had a level of de decency and order. Yeah. Now everybody's walking around streaming off the top of their lungs like animals, man. What the fuck's this shit? You understand? You can, you can have a nice thing, sir. 
All right. That's all it is. What the fuck? So go on. Say behold. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So this is the thing. So I mean, at the end of the day, see, what right, 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 Right. So you gotta know who you're dealing with, man. If somebody's out of their fucking mind and they fucking drunk, they can get the step. You understand? Because I don't really give two. I don't really give a shit how the person is eating my son. I don't give a good goddamn. At the end of the day, what I'm looking forward to do, okay, is beating their fucking asses, man. Right. That's what I really want to do. Okay, that's the last thing I want to do is feel sorry for these damn devils. <coughs> that's the last thing on, on, on my list. I hate so if you're depressed, you deal with that shit on your own. All right? Now we're going to keep the spiritual going. Right, the scripture say, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Right, when you look up that word small, actually, I'm going to look it up. I'll tell you what, one of you brothers look it up. Thou art greatly despised. Right, when you look up that word small, it just means that. It means despised. So among the people, all of these other nations are going to rise up against Esau. Yeah. Okay, they're going to hassle him while he's in the, uh, the airport. They're going to give him a hard time and shit while he's in their country. Sounds right to me. So this is what's happening. This is all fulfilling a prophecy, man. That's why we got to speak the words. We can't really go into our own word. We got to speak the word of the Lord. Because, what? Because um, you know, while you have this madness happening around us, prophecy is being fulfilled. Right. And we're dealing with the real deal, man. Go on. Right, this oh, is uh, the strong concordance. Yeah. And it says, uh, this is sick. H6996 and it says young, small, insignificant. Right, young, small, insignificant. Unimportant. Right, unimportant. So it's going it's get it's already got get to that point where the world is looking at these Edomites. And that's how they are and when they when they go travel the world, that's what they do. Yeah. They, they they get drunk to oblivion and then they do some stupid shit and then some some of these other nations don't kill them and then they report it on uh, BBC saying that you know, a, a Britonian got killed, but he was doing some stupid shit. That's how they are when he traveled over. They get all drunk, all out and twacky, all out of it like a bunch of animals. That's how they are. And I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be able to coexist with these people. Come on, man, give me a break, man. You know, I kind of understand, brother, why you get on these stuff. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be spiritual too. You understand? But hey, man, that's what it is. They're going. Yeah. And we the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Some more stuff. And you got our people, man, they, they believe that Esau is the standing, the, the standard of how to be. Esau ain't the standard of how to be, man. These guys ain't got no damn sense. When you check it out, these Edomites, they ain't, they ain't got no damn sense. Not really right now. All right? You dealing, you dealing with an average Edomite, they ain't got no sense, man. man. They just portray themselves like, they, like they, they are the smartest people of the earth. But when you're really dealing with them face to face up front, you find out, man, they just simple. You know? Go on, bro. Small, insignificant, young, unimportant. You gotta be louder than that. And it says, um, so I got, I got I eight. Um, I believe it says, um, yeah. um, and it says, um, the least, less, little, small, smallest, young. Right, this means it's going be significant all the time. So, that's what's getting great, that's what's happening already. You have all these other nations now, because you got a lot of these English, so-called English, and they don't even know what the term means, if you ask them. They don't know what it means. You not be everywhere. Right? And, um, so, you know, you got a lot of these guys out here. They can't, when they go to a certain country, and they act like this, what's happening is, is the world is starting to see their scope, their, um, their filth. Because see, the world has been brainwashed to believe that these are the guys that are actually setting the orders. And they're the guys that set wisdom to understanding them. But these other nations are realizing their mouths. This is how they carry on when they go when they go outside their own country. Like a bunch of animals, a bunch of wildebeest. And I'm supposed to respect that. Come on, man. I'm supposed to respect that. A man in his right mind is supposed to respect the nation people like that. 
Pound the camera on that, bro. This is their way. That's why the ship is. Matter of fact, we're going to stay in the ship. I'm talking to you. Come on. Got to catch myself. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Go on. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Right. Them that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. What nation of people are known to dwell in the cliffs of the rocks? The so called Europeans, man. They're the ones that are known to dwell in the cliffs of the rocks. Alright? So, their pride has deceived them because they got all of their military power and they were able to lie to the people and say, oh, we made it to space. We made it, we made it out of the earth and we went to the moon so we should you actually check it out. They didn't go to the fuck that way. Mentioned it. I mentioned it earlier, remember? You guys don't remember what you're talking about it today. Yeah. That's, that's a spirit. spirit. That's a spirit. So that's what it is, man. You see, these Edomites, you know, they, they act they act all dumb and stupid. But this is their time to do it. Because when the, like I said, when the party is over, the party's gonna be over. When they the, when they collapse the system, it's not gonna be none of this up and around the up and around the place drunk. That's gonna be put to a stop. Guess what? People are gonna be dying because they can't get access to their medication. Yep. Okay, it's gonna get real out here, man. You gonna have these police officers? They're gonna be transformed into the military, and they're gonna start spraying these people. That's when it's gonna get down to. Because see, the uh, the British economy is out. It's through. That's why they're cutting your paycheck. If you notice, because they ain't got no money left. So their whole thing is just look. We gonna have to pretty much shut everything down, and they get ready to shut everything down. The economy system down. Go on, brother. Okay, it says. Um, whose habitation is high. Right, whose habitation is high, don't because they got the little space between the systems out there. Right, on. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Right, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's their mindset. That's the so called white man's mindset. His mindset is I got all of this power, I got all of this wealth, I got all of this military might. Which that's the mindset of Donald Trump. His mindset is who's going to bring me down to the ground? but not understanding that the Lord put him in that position of power. Okay, rose him to the top. So the same way another entity rose you to the top, it's the same way he can take that position from you. Right. Yeah. Because the so-called white man, he's in rulership to fulfill prophecy. Right. That's all it is. It's not because he's extravagantly smart. We're actually more in definitely smarter than he is. It's like I said, when you're dealing with the average Edomite, they ain't got no sense, man. They ain't got it, man. They ain't got what it takes up there. When, when we bring out this, because see, this is the thing, right? And you know what proves that we got what it takes? We, we got we, we got the juice? Because ain't no Edomite going to quote, quote the scripture and then pretty much go get another scripture like how we do. They're not that intelligent. Their mindset cannot comprehend that. Nah, yeah, yeah. All right, but you got uh, people thinking that they're the bee's knees and they got all that it takes. Come on, man. Go on, bro. They say, um, you shall bring me down to the ground. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Right, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What's the animal symbol of the so-called white man? When he was the ancient Greeks, they used the eagle. The ancient Romans, the eagle. Okay, the American animalistic symbol, the eagle. All right, so that's the symbol. So that's how we know that both the prophet of Dyer was speaking about the, the future events that was going to occur on Easter. Okay, and even the Edomites that wrote the um the, the what is it the Bible dictionary, they know that they're gonna go through their own um what is it great future judgment. They know this. All right, fuck, fuck what these average peons gotta say. They don't know what got that. All right, if you're not a scholar, we ain't trying. If you're not a scholar, we don't need to be talking to you. You're not qualified to debate us. If you're not a scholar. All right, we mean business about okay, man. We not bullshit. Okay, go on, bro. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest <coughs> among the stars. Right, though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, like I said, they sit in, they sit in their own rockets up there every once in a while. They got their little space shoots up there. And then they got that line, they got, they got that line where they say that they went to the moon. When they didn't go to no goddamn moon. They don't even have the technology to even go to freaking Mars. They talking about going to Mars, but they couldn't make it to the moon. Come on, man, give me a break. How do we know that? Because you got other crackers.
solidifying and validating that point, man. How are you? Yo, my man, my man, just have a nice day, man. We, we not, just have a nice day, man. We not dealing with you, bro. We not dealing with you. Just have a nice day. Have a nice day. All right? Have a nice evening. Take it. What I mean by that is you can take, take a hike. Go down the street. That's what I mean by having a nice day. Now you understand. Go on. That's it. I'm not playing with these people out here, man. These people, these people are under this, this vibration of mirth, man. Fuck all that. Go on. That's what I bring thee down, say of Yahweh. Right. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, right. how art thou cut off? Right, how hast thou been cut off? Go on. Would they not have stolen till so uh, they had enough? Yeah, right, that's how the so-called white men is. He would take every single thing from each and every nation and people and claim it for himself. All right, and when he does give back, he has to be pushed to give back. That's the mentality. Gather as much as they can gather and still and deceive and use mind control to get what you got and have you suffer in the means while they're living lavishly in the That's how they get down. You understand? But you got our uh, people out in the, the um, what is it, the Western Islands, they see them frozen in front of them. But yet they still think that, oh, you know, they, they're cool. They're all right people. They're not all right people, man. I went to school with these folks. We all went to school with these people, man. Right. All right, just because a guy wanna, a guy talks to you, you shake your hand, he wanna be down with you, his media is telling you to be PC, politically correct, which that's all bullshit too, uh, right? That don't mean that things have changed. Right. The same way the so-called white man was back in the 1600s, he's the same way now. The only difference is that he hides it. That's the only difference. We know yeah, the game, man. Course. Okay, we're not just some old regular Negroes thinking that, oh, some, some are all right. No, we know audience ain't right, man. That's just the truth. We work with you guys. We know how you guys are. Right. Making black jokes and all of that. We know the deal, man. You understand? Well, the thing with us, we got to deal with you guys because we're, we're, in, we're, we're under you right now. But when we get into the kingdom, we going to be fucking y'all up, man. Right now, we can't do anything. So right now, we got to be spiritual and open up books on what you did. Matter of fact, give me y'all, give me y'all, what is it, Joel? Give me y'all Revelation 13, 9 and 10. As you see all of that right there, you can check that out, right? That's how you know who you're dealing with. All of these things that have been done to our people, okay? If a nation of people can do such madness like this, now you know, now you should already know who you're dealing with, what type of monster you're dealing with. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, you're not dealing with somebody that's insane, that's sane in the main, in the, in the, uh, in the brain. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, and I don't know if you brothers are noticing, but everything that you're saying now, mm. when we opened up, I was saying. Oh, really? I don't, you, know, you guys don't, you know. Well, I was That's saying that. That's a spirit. Saying that the white man said he went to the moon. He's a liar, man. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay, go on. See, see all of this, yeah? I was talking with an Arab man, an Ishmaelite man in the internet cafe, and he said that the history of these people is blood. That's it. Shima. Yeah, That's yeah. That's a Syria. Yeah. The history is blood. Yeah. In order for a man to do this level of, of, of monstrosities in the earth, yeah. he literally can't have a conscience. Yeah. He can't have a conscience. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to say that the so called he's a psychopath. Yeah. That's it. He's, he's, he's a monster, man. He's man, not human. That's that. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah, so I mean, that's how it is, man. I mean, like, hey, the brother said it. The brother said that um, they get up on spilling spit blood. Okay, that's the MO of these Edomites. They spill blood, they like it. They get a kick out of it. So when you're dealing with somebody, when, you, when you're dealing with a group of people that have a, um, a way with uh, um, psyche, you, gotta, you, you better get away from it because they're gonna do something. You don't know what, you don't know what they're capable of doing. If they can do something like that, all right, and go as far as convincing mankind on the earth to change who they are, and then also, Preventing you to be who you are when you work for them. That's mountains right there. That's a whole another level of oppression when you can't be who you are. Right. You can't even be a you can't even pretty much raise um, be comfortable in being a man. You gotta deduct the base on your voice. Because if you raise up your base of the voice, then it's threatened. You understand? So you got you pretty much gotta uh stifle yourself, hold yourself down just so you can be accepted by them. And we don't want to be accepted by these Edomites, man. I don't want to be accepted by a bunch of King Brothers. All I want is to, is to ha have my just due. Right. And what I also want as well is to be in rulership. You know why? Because I'm an Israelite and I'm, and I'm one of the sons of Jacob and that's my God-given right. right. 
we're going to rule the world and we're going to subdue these other nations, man. And we're going to put them under our foot. And they ain't going to be able to say a damn thing about it. And we're going to know and we're going to show these other nations what racism is. Right, right, right. You understand? Right. We're going to show them what true racism is. Because, see, they ain't, man. They showing us a little bit of that, but then at the same time, they want to hide it. Now, we're going to let you know yeah. we don't like it. You're going to know about it. Right. You, in our world, you're going to know that we don't like your ass. Right, right, right. You're going to know that you're beneath. You're nothing but, you're, you're no less than my spit on the floor. You're going to know about it, man. These Edomites, they're going to know the deal. All right, go on. You're going to stay in the spirit, man. And you know, you got these white girls as well. They were so called, I say. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me cool, let me cool out. You got these Edomite girls, they walk around, and they look at a so-called Negro like, oh, I'm supposed to have him entitled. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yep. You understand? Yeah. They got this, 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 they got this look on their face like, oh, you know, he's supposed to be for me. He's supposed to want me. I don't right. want your ass, man. That's right. I don't know, right, I don't know how many men you slept with. <laughs> yeah. How many men have you slept with in your in your life? That's what, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you may be hot all right. You may have all of that caked up makeup, but uh, how many men, you done, how many rods you done suck? They're nasty, man. Yeah, man. You understand? That's the real. That's the reality. A lot of these women out here, they look nice and pretty, right? But they got a lot of sperm cells inside of them. That's the reality. Okay. <laughs> Go on, bro. Let's keep this shit real, man. We gonna keep it real. It says Revelation 13 and 9. Go on. If any man have an ear, let him hear. All right. He that leadeth into captivity uh -huh. shall go into captivity. Right, he's going into captivity. So the so-called white man is evident and documented that they put a nation of people in slavery. Yep. And we're not going to forget about no slavery. You can't forget about the damn Holocaust that didn't even happen in the first place. You can't forget about uh, anything else or 9-11. And damn it, we're not going to forget about slavery. Right. Okay? And, and you know what? Forget about us. The most I ain't forget about what happened. All right, let's, we're going to pull that out, but let's, let's do this first. Let's see. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right, so if a nation of people kill another nation of people, they're going to be killed. All right, so all of these bombs that are being dropped, all right, from, uh, from um, since World War I all the way up to now, okay, and even prior before that, all of the LEDs that was done in the past, by these Edomites, they gonna have to repay all of that. That's why they all choking they out of it because they know in the spirit they gonna have to pay one day. They know this deep down, man. They know this. But see, when we tell them, we just further pretty much throwing it, throwing it in their faces. We putting the mirror right in their faces, and that's when they, that's when they really can't take it. Though. That's why they walk up. That's why they walk up when they, they don't want to hear the Bible. Go on, brother. Killed with a sword. Mm. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And how was Britain occupied? How was Britain established on earth or America? By blood. It wasn't by sincerity or righteousness, it was by bloodshed. Let's deal with the historical background of Britain. All right, we could say, well, that was a long time ago. Uh, we gotta forget about that. No, 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 no. We can't forget about that. Because guess what? Whatever you do, or whatever you have done on the past, you're gonna have to pay that back. Now let's get Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes in the Bible and uh, verse 16, please. All right, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, 16. And even in their own law. All right, so what's gonna happen is, is if you enslave a nation of people, you're gonna go into slavery. If you bomb up a nation of people, you're gonna be destroyed. All right, that's just the laws of nature. The laws of nature right. is basic, go on, brother. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 15. Oh, all right. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. Okay. And the most high requires <coughs> that which is past. And that's the bottom line. The most high required that which is the past. Right. That's why.